All right, including stereochemistry, draw a name the product of the reaction below, which starts with trans 3 hexene. Now, um, the sixth video, or the sixth problem in this playlist, has this done with cis, and I did it there with um, Fisher diagrams and uh, perspective, and I'm going to do it that same way with this problem. So this time I'm going to do this with um, um, perspective drawings. So I'm going to start by drawing my transhexene and my bromine's going to be in with some methylene chloride probably and um, for my perspective drawing what I'm going to do is draw the bromines flat on the paper and what I'm going to do with my um, alkene is I'm going to kind of rotate it back. So these both are going to get wedges and uh, the ones in wedges will be front and the hash marks will be in the back. So the hydrogen's in the back. That methyl is in the back. This hydrogen is in the front and this ethyl is in the front. All right, to figure out the rotation, um, I'm going to do this left one first. That's got to be my number one position, followed by this because it's a carbon with a bromine, followed by the carbon attached to another carbon. So I have clockwise for that. H is in the back, so this is R. The other one, got to be one, got to be two, and got to be three all for the, pretty much the same reasons. It is also clockwise, but H is in the front, so that must be S. Now, technically, had I not done those rotations, this one kind of can be obvious when we notice something on this. All right, what I want you to look for when you're doing perspective drawings is basically what happens when you take one of the sides of the bromine and rotate it. So what we're going to do is take this drawing and then right below here I'm just going to rotate this left side or the right side. So left side is going to stay exactly like I've drawn it. But the other side I'm going to rotate it so this bromine straight up. All right, if I rotate it 180 degrees, the CH2CH3 that's in the back would be in the front. And the H that was in the front would be in the back. And what I, we want to notice is that this is a nice little mesostructure. And being a mesostructure, whatever rotation I find on one side, the other side has to be opposite. Um, and there isn't any... Um, uh, an antimer because it is a mesostructure. All right, so seeing that or figuring out the rotation, either one, we're going to be able to come up with a name of 3R, 4S, or 3S, 4R. Um, 3, 4, dibromo, hexane. And that is the only product. No mesostructure here, or it's a mesostructure here, so there isn't an enantomer of this one.